Thanks for checking out Sortly. In a previous video, we covered how to add a folder into your Sortly application. Today, we're going to cover how to add an item into your Sortly application. Now, there's a couple different ways that you can add items. Today, we're going to cover how to do it on the desktop. You can also add items through your mobile phone, and you can bulk import them via CSV file or Excel spreadsheet. We covered that in another video as well. If we want to add an item, all we have to do is click on the Add New button, and then we can click on Add Item. Now, this view here is specifically going to be what we call our quick add. This is where you'll have a very limited view on what you can add for this item to get it into the system quickly. There is also the opportunity here to click show all fields, and this is ideally the method that you would want to go with if you wanted to create or see all of the additional fields that are available to you within your Sortly account. In this demonstration, I'm going to cover going through both of these. So I'm going to click, I'm going to type in MacBook Pro as an example. I can then type in the item's quantity, so the quantity that I want to use for the item. Let's say there's five of this item specifically. To the right of this, I'm going to see an option to select units of measure. So there's 20 different units of measure that are available to you within our drop-down field. It's going to default to units every time, and that's what I'm going to use in this case. To the right of this, you have an opportunity for a min level. So we can set a min level of two as an example. And you can also go in and add a price field. So I will put $2,700. It'll automatically calculate the quantity times the price to give you the total value of that item. If I had any photos, I could drag and drop them in at this time from my desktop, and they would be attached to that item specifically. And if they have item variants, you can toggle this on. We're going to make a separate video covering variants and how you can set that up in an example that makes more sense. At this point here, I can go in and add this item into the system by clicking on the Add button. And this is going to create this item at the level that you're currently at. So we can see our MacBook Pro item has been created here. Now I'm going to show the other option, which is going to be to show all fields. So again, you'll hit add new, you'll hit add item, and then we're going to hit show all fields. Now this is going to give us a much more in-depth view showing every single field that we offer within Sortly by default and also covering some of the custom fields that we've built for our account. We'll have a more in-depth video in custom fields a little bit later on, so you can feel free to watch that and look into how custom fields would be set up. So in this case, I'm going to work with a different example. I'm going to work with a t-shirt. So I have a shirt here. I'm going to go in again and I'm going to set the quantity. We'll say 15. You again have the option to select units, and you also have the option again to select your min level. But to take this a step further, when you hit show all fields, you're now going to have access to set up alerts. So the way alerts work within Sortly, you're going to get a push notification on your phone or tablet. You would get an email alert to the email or emails on file, or you can select individuals within your organization to get notified there. And you're also going to see a pop-up within the uh, solution that's going to give you uh, like an unread text message notification that your min level has been hit. In this case, if you wanted to uh, select when you want to get notified, so by default, it will set it to at or below that minimum level. You have greater than, greater than or equal to, you have less than and less than or equal to. So choose whichever parameter you would like here. You can then send who this alert is going to be going to. So by default, it's always going to select yourself. This is the user profile that you're signed in as. You also have the opportunity to select admins, you have owners, and you have team members. If you wanted to select people individually or individuals within your organization, you can do so. I could select my colleague Monica as an example, and she would be the one who's notified of this, uh, of this alert when that min level is hit. Once everything looks good here, just go ahead and hit confirm, and you'll see a little gray box up at the top letting you know that there's currently an alert set for this item. You'll also notice that the price field is still here, so if we put $25, it's going to calculate the quantity times the price to give us the total value. And this is where we're going to start to see some additional fields that weren't available on the quick add. So you have the ability to add some tags. You can also add notes. You still have the ability to add photos, so you can still pull those in here. But you also have the opportunity to link QR codes and barcodes, as well as enable item variants. We'll cover item variants in another video, very similar to what we were talking about, um, and that's going to make more sense towards this specific example. And then lastly, you're going to see all of the custom fields that you've built out in your account. This helps you to tailor the product to be very specific to your business needs. So you can build out what we call custom fields, and we'll have a much more in-depth video covering this as well uh, within the platform. Here's just some examples of what you could build out um, and what we've built out in our template. We have a location field. We have an additional barcode field a purchase date, so a calendar. You can also enable alerts for any date-based fields, so keep that in mind. We have a web link, a serial number, a rack space, a drop-down field with vendor information, product condition, an expiration date, an email, a file attachment. So there's a lot of different options you can play around with. 
Uh, in this case, we'll skip that for now, but we can go ahead and hit add item and that's gonna create that item in the system. So there's a couple different ways that you can create items within your Sortly account. As you can see here, we have the MacBook Pro, which we made from the quick add, and then we have the shirt, which we made from the more extensive show all fields add option. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at support. We really appreciate you joining us today. Have a good day.